Hi everybody, welcome to our short tutorial on how to add a new post to our school blog. So the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to open up a new browser and go to Blogger. So www.blogger.com. Um, when you get here, it's going to ask you to sign in. Sign in using your Spurred account because that's what we've shared the blog with you through. So mine is my password. So when you get here, um, if we've added you properly, you should see um, this blog will show up where greatness happens at Ashmont Elementary. That is our school blog. These other ones are things that I've been playing around with. So uh, you will want to click on that blog. If you don't have that, please send us an email and we need to add you. So to add a new post, uh, this bright orange button here, new post. If you want to just check out the blog, come here to view blog. So I'm going to go to new post. First thing you'll want to do is you want to make sure that you give your post a title. So example, blog post. Uh, the next thing you want to do is type in your information, what you want to share. So today I am writing this blog post as an example. Um, so there's a couple things you can do, just like any word processor, you can change your font, they're pretty basic. Uh, you can change your size, bold, italics, underlined, change your color, change your highlights. You can add links, pictures, videos, page break, but I wouldn't really do that. Uh, you can change how you align it, add bullets, numbers, um, things like that. Um, so when you're done typing and you've added in, I'll show you how to add an image, so just click on that little button there. Uh, Upload, choose file. So I just had to find one that's not a PDF. Let's go with this one. Click enter there. And you can see it uploading. Okay, so I'm going to add selected. There's my picture. Uh, when you click on it, you can change the size, small, medium, large, extra large, original side, uh, orientation, left, right, center, add a caption. Okay. And then what you'll want to do is you want to label it. Uh, labels help people search our blog. Uh, so if a teacher's coming in and they want to see something for grade one, they can type in grade one. So um, I'll call this tutorial, blog, I should probably spell things right, example, and then click done. Okay, so then you can either preview your post. There it is. And you can X out when you're done previewing, or you can publish it. So I'm going to publish this. And you can see I already did one of these and didn't actually end up publishing it. I'm going to delete that. Okay. Um, please don't, if you have access to this, I'm not sure if you do, please don't go in and edit or delete other people's posts. Um, people spend a lot of time doing them, and it would be pretty devastating if uh, someone had wanted to do that. So please ensure that you're either new post or viewing blog, but not editing um, these ones through here because we would hate to lose that work. Um, so anyway, that's, let's just view our blog here really quick. So here it is, where greatness happens at Ashmont Elementary. You can see here are the labels to help you search, or you could search this blog. Um, and then the posts go down in order of um, newest to oldest. And then at the bottom you can see our blog archive uh, based on the month when people posted and so yeah, hopefully you guys will find time to check out the blog, add some posts. Um, I know that the blog committee, Jen and myself, are super excited to read what you guys have to share. Uh, hearing everyone's best practices is always really amazing. So if you have any questions, send us an email, come see us, and can't wait to read your posts.